Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. So today we're going to make this video to talk about the best time of year to visit Hawaii and some of the best places to go when you're visiting Hawaii to get away from the crowds. Now, with all that being said, let's be real. Hawaii's number one industry is tourist tourism. The whole island is a tourist trap, really. Even the locals still have to pay the price for um, you know, the fact that Hawaii is a tourist trap. There is Kamaina discounts, but then again, a lot of the companies are so in the habit of just charging, charging for, uh, you know, top dollar that they even just say, no, we don't do Kamaina discount anymore. So the, the days of the Kamaina discounts are kind of limited. And basically, in case you don't know what a Kamaina is, it's child, children of the land, people of the land. And th so, Basically, the way that a Kamaina is, works is if you got a little ID card, that's a, a state ID, that's Hawaiian, that's a Hawaii state ID, you're a Kamaina discount um, person. Hotels, restaurants, for those of you who did not know that. The Back to the point of best time of year to visit Hawaii and um, places to go <laughs> to get away from uh, tourists. So. Being that the whole state is a tourist trap, there's a couple places I'll give you right off the top that are not so touristy on the Big Island. Puna, um, Hawaiian Acres, Fern Acres, Mountain View up in that area towards Volcano. I mean, Volcano's kind of touristy, but not too bad. Go back down, Hilo, Hamakua, North Kohala, all the way to um, Javi, not too touristy. Although Javi, you know, they all got their own little, like Honoka and Hamakua has its little walking area for the tourists, but it's not a giant tourist trap. It's still got a little bit of a local feel, like Hilo. Hilo has got a, the only time Hilo ever has a tourist feel is when the cruise ship comes in, and cruise ships like Hilo. Do the people on the cruise ships necessarily like Hilo? Well, that depends. It depends on if they get off, if they are going on a tour to Volcano or around the island, because if they're staying and walking around Hilo for seven to 10 hours, however long they're ported, I mean, Hilo, it's not ideal. You, you need a tour in Hilo. Maybe that's why the cruise ship likes porting there because it generates extra money for um, tours. I would say Kona is a pretty good place to go without too much tourism, to be honest with you. I mean, it is touristy, but, you know, it's not that not that in, intense. Captain Cook, you know, it's, it's kind of local vibe. If you go over to Maui, Maui's a total tourist tra trap. I mean, it's all about that California, um, it's, like the, it's like California in a way. But, you know... There, I would say if there's any place in Maui, it's probably towards like Hana. And then, you know, P Piahi, Haiku, Makawao, that area, those areas there, not too much tourism. Kind of got that local feel. But if you got Kihai, Lahaina, Wailuku, upcountry, I mean, that's mostly geared towards, yeah, tourists. So, Tonight, someone asked me, they said, hey, my friend's coming to the island. She's got two kids. She doesn't want to be around a lot of tourists. She wants to relax. First thing that come to my head is, it's Hawaii. You're a tourist. You're going to be involved with other tourists, whether you like it or not, unless you have, like, family here and you're a local. Um, you know, you're going to be funneled right through the tourist pipeline. <laughs> uh you could do like off-grid B and B's or something. Like I said, Puna. I mean, if you really want off-grid, if you really want to get away from the tourist traps, you got to go Hana or Puna. Yeah. On Oahu, I can't really say anywhere that you can get away from the tourism in Oahu. So, you know, maybe you can pick a nice resort that allows you to relax but at the end of the day a resort is tourism 
Oahu, you know, you just don't go to Oahu if you're looking to get away from other tourists. I guess I could say go to Molokai, but I don't advocate for going to Molokai because, you know, it's Hawaiian homestead land and they like it that way. And, you know, there there is this, uh, there is a little bit of animosity that keeps coming up from uh, local people who have been commenting on Hawaiian pages, this YouTube channel, saying, you know, see, here's the thing, okay, so tourism is the number one economy in Hawaii, it feeds a lot of people, so even the locals are aware of the fact that they're not going to bite the hand that feeds them, what I mean by that is, the tourism industry brings in a lot of revenue to keep the lights on, to keep the gas in the tank, to keep the food on the table, you know, to pay the rent in Hawaii. It makes the world go around. Is Hawaii held hostage to tourism? Kind of. But some people in Hawaii, especially the Hawaiian people, would say, well, they did it without them. They'll do it. They could do it again without, with, you know, they could still do it without them. Meaning they don't need the outside world's influence. That's not on, not on me to even comment on because I don't know enough about how they, you know, I just don't know enough to comment either way, but I do know that the world is very connected right now. Um, you know, it's very rare that, uh, you know, outside of sub-Saharan Africa or the Amazon jungle or, you know, some remote island in um, archipelago in the middle of the Pacific, I mean, every, the world's connected at this point. Uh, so anyway, back to the point. Best time of year to come to Hawaii, it yet again depends on the time. I didn't mention Kauai, but Kauai, there are some places you can go where it's not too touristy. But if you're going to go to Kauai, you know, you're going to want to end up in Hanalei. And Hanalei is one of those places where the locals are territorial and they're not necessarily even Hawaiian locals. Like they're uppity. <laughs> I use this term because these are, they're uppity people. They're, they would be called Howleys, foreigners who have taken owners who have decided that they are the common of the children of the land over there. And they want to basically try to shoo everyone out of Hanalei because Hanalei is this special place, and that's what they do. I mean, I think it's kind of messed up that they that they think that they own everything that is over there and they try to shoo people away. But then again, I, I get it. I When I'm driving around town and I'm seeing a bunch of cars on the road, I could see why Hawaii was rated the number one uh, state for road rage based on Instagram hashtags. Per capita, Hawaii has more road rage Instagram hashtags that said road rage than any other state in America. And I get it. Hawaii is not really designed for this much clunkers on the road, all these cars, all these pieces of steel. So to say the best time to visit Hawaii, it's probably November to March but there's not really ever a bad time to visit Hawaii and the reason I picked um, no November December to March is because you know it's kind of the time you can get the full the full deal you know big waves whales pretty much whales but <laughs> humpback whales are kind of exciting for four months out of the year People get all excited about that. And then, um, like I said, surf culture, big waves, North Shore, coming from the north. You also have, um, you also have some other things that are going on. Um, nice weather, snow on Mauna Kea, snow maybe on Haleakala, on Maui. You know, which kind of adds to a little bit of the appeal of the cool things about Hawaii that are anomalies, you know, the rare, the rare things that happen. And then you'll also have lava. So the best time of year, if you're a, a lava 
volcanologist or someone who aspires to be in the liquid magma and stuff like that, the best time of the year to go would be when the lava flow is really going because you can never predict when that thing's going to stop and go. But it's pretty good um, all year round. It is a little bit hot in the, the summertime, but that's good because the water's going to be a little bit warmer too. And if you like swimming in warm water, <laughs> like right now, I went down to the beach. It's kind of cold getting in there, and it'll start to warm up. But the summertime, it's really nice water. You know, I love it then. I love it now too. It's not cold, but, you know still chilly so to, to, to put it all in the summary the best time to visit Hawaii if you don't want to deal with tourist fellow a fellow tourist um, but have a good time stay away from the holidays if you come during the holidays New Year's Christmas Thanksgiving Memorial Day Veterans Day those are gonna be the busiest time there's gonna be more tourists here so, like I said, at the end of the day, all time is the best time to visit Hawaii. If some of your favorite attractions are seasonal, like snow on Mauna Kea, um, humpback whales, lava, which is not seasonal, but, you know, does happen. Um, big waves, surf season. If, if, if it's summertime, the place to surf is on the South Shore. In particular, Pohoiki on the Big Island. Or maybe Waikiki will be a good spot. Better than North Shore in the summer. Or Lanikai. Or, well, Waimanalo. There's not really too much surfing or bodyboarding on that side of the island, though. We're on Oahu. We're Lanikai, Kailua Beach. Maui? Surfing is good in Lahaina in the summer. It's okay. Kihai, McKenna, shore breaks in McKenna are slamming. You know, so it just depends on what you're... If, if it all it is is sunsets, white sand beach, and luau, so you're round. So, if you're trying to avoid the crowds, stay away from the holidays. It's pretty simple. I mean, prices are better. But can you get off time from work? Dad, I don't know. Can the kids get off school? I don't know. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thank you.